Emily Jones. Good afternoon. I'm Detective Richardson. All right, I want to get right to it. Help me understand exactly why you're at the home of Mr. Jonathan Agnew. Oh, I got a letter shoved under the door at my hotel room. I received an invitation to his house. I thought it was weird, but I thought he just wanted to gloat about his golf game last weekend. He won our bet. Oh, and how big was the bet? It varies. Last weekend it was $5,000. Did you receive a letter as well? Yeah, mine said to meet Mr. Agnew here. I'm Emily. Rebecca Martin, city councilwoman. You might have seen my ads for mayor. No. City councilwoman Rebecca Martin. What are you doing here? Probably the same reason why you're here. Oh, you got a letter too? Yep. Huh. I was supposed to meet Agnew here as well. Agnew sent me a letter to come over. I was surprised. He didn't like me. I didn't like him. And you are? Silas, Agnew's neighbor. I received a letter as well as my soon-to-be ex-husband. Mike, what are you doing here? What exactly did he want with you, Mike? Wasn't he your divorce attorney? Yeah, he's the guy who had an affair with my wife! Better question is, what are you doing here, Sarah? Here to see Agnew again? He's more of a man than you'll ever be. You don't know anything about the work that I do. Okay, well, let's go see what he wants. Who made the decision to enter the house after there was no response from Mr. Agnew? He's not coming out. Let's just go in. Uh, I, I don't want to break in. Just get this over with. Rebecca Martin. Silas pushed for us to go in. I was eager to get it over with, but I would never go into my dear friend's house uninvited. Hello? Where are you, Agnew? You jarhead ass wipe. Mr. Agnew? Are you there? I have better things to do today. Help me understand what interest Mr. Agnew had in you. I thought he was your husband's divorce attorney. He was rich and powerful and he promised me a, a lot of things. We had a moment of passion in his office one night. I wanted it to be something. I, I wanted I wanted what Mike couldn't give me. Hello? Sir? Sir? Are you still there? The police are on their way. Oh, when you discovered Mr. Agnew, did anybody attempt to provide him help? Mike made sure he was dead. Is he dead? Um, I checked for a pulse, but uh, I got nothing. He's gone. The body's still warm. He's dead? 
there was an active 911 call on the phone, um, so the police are on their way. If there was a 911 call and the cops are on their way, we have 20 minutes before they get here. I think it's time for me to leave. Agreed. I don't know any of you, and you do not know me. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't any of you find it really coincidental that we're all here and we found Agnew dead together? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I didn't kill him. Neither did I. I don't trust any of you. By the way, how do you know the police will be here in 20 minutes? Because I'm friends with the chief, and I'm up on protocol since I'm an avid supporter of him. We shouldn't be turning on each other. Let's work on this. Detective Mike Bates is on the case. At least I'm trying to sort this all out. For all I know, you could have killed him. Every man for himself. While we have a little bit of time, maybe we should spread out and look for clues in the house. I got the kitchen. He was always trying to get me in trouble with the Neighborhood Association. He was always complaining about my truck. Well, what kind of complaint would he have with your truck? My truck has a lot of dents in it. It, uh, got a big one in front of it. Oh, how put ourselves, are we? Hmm. Huh? For real? We should be able to do something. Give them to me. Sorry. Give them to me. Oh. Hey guys! I found something! They look like a bunch of plastic bags with labels of our, our names, names on them. Them. And they're all empty. There's no way of knowing what was in them. Yeah, and there's not really enough time to figure it out either. When the police arrive, they're gonna find our DNA and fingerprints all over the house! A little late for that. What, what are we doing here? We have I wasn't the one that wanted to bring us into this stupid house, but you two just oh, like, shut up, just up my here. No, I'm the one that got my hands on his jugular. I'm the one that's already the most guilty Why right did now. You touch him in the first place? I wanted place. to see if he was dead. Sorry for having common human decency, Sarah. Do you have any ideas why Mr. Agnew would write a note like this? No, but you know what? She was trying to keep it from us. I really think that she was just going to use it against us. What were you doing in there? Nothing. I don't believe you. You know something, don't you? Listen, I don't know anything about my father, okay? What's going on? Emily here is hiding something from us. Oh, and did anyone else here know? This is Agnew's daughter. You're Agnew's daughter? Well, well, yeah, but he never wanted anything to do with me. What'd you find? The murderer is one of the... Explain to me why you took it from his hands. I thought it was a clue. Well, if you thought it was a clue, then why would you try to hide it? I wasn't trying to hide it. I just, I didn't know what, how those strangers would react to it, especially if one of them is the murderer. Well, why do you think your father would have left a note like that? But, to mess with us, to screw with our heads. I mean, he's a narcissistic asshole, okay? Self-serving completely. So, I mean... Maybe he went soft and he found out he was going to die. Sarah, please. I know this is a really tough time for you right now, but please don't ignore me. Okay, well, the cops are going to be here any minute, so I'm out of here. And have you stabbed us in the back with the police? I don't think so. What's wrong? It, it won't open. Put some muscle into it, you big baby. What's wrong? It's jammed! Um, maybe Ellen Carter? Ow! What was that for? The back door is jammed too. It's a trap. 
One of you jammed this door from the inside so we couldn't get out. Bobby City PD. Help! There's a murderer in here! Open the door! We can't open the door. It's jammed from the inside. stressed your day, Richardson, but the coroner called. The yeah. body is gone. No. <laughs> I'm not joking. Well, let's get out of here. I don't quite understand how a body can just be taken from the coroner in broad daylight. The coroner loaded the body into the van, and when they got to the station, the body bag was empty. How does a dead body just get up and walk out on its own? It doesn't happen. It does if the person is not dead. This is definitely the strangest case. Uh, according to forensics, every single suspect has DNA all over that house. Well, of course they do. How more difficult can they make this? There is something larger at play here, Collins. All right, everybody, listen up. Against my better judgment, and due to the current lack of evidence, we're gonna have to let you go. Yet, yeah, do not leave town. If you attempt to leave, you will be arrested and brought back. Shouldn't we tell them the body's missing? No, we can't let them know that. Where are you guys going? Where do you think we're going? I'm going home. Shouldn't we talk about this? I don't want to talk to you in the first place, let alone about this. Hey guys, he, he's actually probably onto something. They were just saying that the body is missing. What? What do you mean the body's missing? I, I just, I overheard that. We should go back to his house. What? Why? Why would we go back to his house? I don't know. Maybe the fact that we all got framed for murder the moment we stepped into his house? Uh, don't you want to know why? He's going to try to bury all of us. It's in our best interest to go. I'll call an Uber. Ugh. Ouch. Gross. Well, I don't see anything here that can help us. Better not catch you with another bag of chips, Silas. It looks like someone was living in here. Nice touch. Uh, 
I think I found some files. Uh, let's see. Uh, bank statements. So, I got tax returns. Um, property. Oh, wait. I found a deed for a, a property a little outside of town. Well, looky here. The politician actually getting her hands dirty. What? Mike knew was here. Yeah. We just found a whole room back there, and there was a sleeping bag and files and information on a property that's just outside of town. It was him. I can recognize that cologne anywhere. The snake is still alive. If we don't do something, he's going to destroy us all. Well, maybe we should go check that property out. Maybe there's answers out there. Yeah, I think we'll find something there. Okay. Okay. Oh. What are you doing? Come on, Mike. This is Detective Collins. Suspects are headed northbound in the victim's SUV, proceeding to follow. Congratulations, you found me. Well done. <laughs> How are you alive? I checked your pulse. I was never dead, you putz. Uh, things were going so well, too. Till now. Why go to all this trouble when you said you didn't care? Because you were in the right place at the right time. And I do care. I do care about destroying every memory of your mother and you. You've done nothing. <laughs> she didn't deserve me, and neither do you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Who up? Get out of here. Go back to your junk and friends. Definitely not Sarah. All those looks you gave me, everything you whispered to me in your office when Mike wasn't around, you finally made me feel special. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is real good. <laughs> Well, that was just pillow talk, my dear. You, you were never special. <laughs> you all disgust me. You know, Mike and Sarah, they have such a pathetic relationship. But, you know, you can't really blame Sarah. I mean, she just couldn't keep her hands off of me. But it was good while it lasted, Mikey. <laughs> oh, Silas. Oh, yeah. The police are really going to love to find out who did that little hit and run the other night. You remember the dent, the blood, maybe the screams. <laughs> oh, and Rebecca. Rebecca. Reporters are going to have a field day with you. They're going to run the headlines for weeks when they find out who you were working with behind the scenes. <laughs> we are going to be so rich. Congratulations, everyone. I can live with that. <laughs> You're all like turds in the bottom of a crapper, and I got my hands on the chain. You all have secrets, and I'm going to share. Skaboosh. <laughs> it's a good thing I find you so disgusting, too. Yeah, well, I'm smarter than you, and I'm going to bury you all. And you're not going to bury me. <laughs> oh, ha, you missed. You don't have to go. Oh. 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 Hey, Mikey, want to come check for a pulse now, buddy?
Yeah. You know, just tie up loose ends. Don't do this! Please, hands up! Don't move! Drop the gun! Drop it! Stay where you are! Everybody, stay where you are! Get down! Get down! Get down! I finally got what I deserve. Oh, holy cow! Are, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. All right, folks. All I need you to do is come down to the precinct with me. We'll get your statements and you'll be good to go. And I don't think you'll have to worry about Miss Rebecca Martin anymore. Her bid for mayor is definitely over at this time. Thanks for your help. Get your hands off me! Don't you know who I am? I'll have your jobs! <laughs>